Welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam Smith and inside this prototype unboxing, I'm checking out Tenaris Expeditions Central C. This one's landed on GameFound for mid-November if you want the exact date as well as a link to the campaign page. I have that in the pinned comment and video description. The aim of this video is to show you all the components that came as part of the prototype before we dive into gameplay together to show you exactly how this thing flows and operates. But first, in this video, let's focus on finding out more about what Tenaris Expeditions is all about, and then we'll check out all the components inside. In Tenaris Expeditions, you'll be stepping into the turbulent waters of the Central Sea where a dark and sinister force threatens to engulf the entire realm in chaos. Pirates and sailors alike are losing their minds, driven mad by an ancient evil rising from the depths. In this one to four player epic pirate adventure, you are the most feared pirate of the seas, the only hope against an upcoming doom that speaks to drown the world in corruption and despair. This dungeon crawler offers one of the most exciting and strategic experiences, blending the depth of classic dungeon crawlers with the dynamic excitement of roguelike mechanics. As you sail through perilous quests, your hero will grow stronger both during and between adventures, allowing you to create devastating combos that turn the tide of battle in your favor. You'll be customizing your Sea Lord with unique powers and strategies, creating powerful synergies. With engaging, fast-paced gameplay and a richly immersed narrative, every turn brings new challenges and opportunities to prove your dominance over the seas and reshape the fate of the world. In just a moment, we'll crack open the box and take a look at all the prototype components up close, but I do want to mention the fact that I'm a huge fan of the theme of pirates, and for the longest time, I've been waiting for when a game was going to come along that had the pirates theme, but more of a gritty feel to the game and was a dungeon crawler. And there have been a couple here and there, but this one, especially with the history that Tenaris Adventures has, I've got a little bit higher hopes that they're going to nail the pirate theme with this one really well. Inside the box, the very first thing we see is the rule book, and underneath that looks like there's a coil bound book as well. We're going to pull these out first, take a look through them, and then we'll dive into the rest of the components below. Here are the two books that were on the very top of the game box, the rule book as you saw, and underneath was the quest book. We'll start things off with the rule book. On the left hand side, we got the table of contents and the introduction says a dark corruption has risen from the depths, threatening to consume the central sea. Pirates and sailors alike are losing their minds, their wills bent to an unseen force. Sea monsters once dormant now emerge with fury and rogue pirate bands wreak havoc unchecked. The waters you once ruled are teetering on the edge of chaos and only the most powerful and cunning pirate can restore order. These two pages focus on the components overview. There's a number of components broken into different sections like hero components, attacks, improvement cards, villains, combat, quests, and campaign. These pages focus on the heroes themselves, the hero sheets, the combat roles, and reading a hero sheet. At this point, we're about halfway through the rulebook. These sections focus on the hero's turn, the move actions, for instance, and prime actions. Wouldn't be much of a pirate game without attacks, and that's exactly what these two pages cover in full. The attack sections continue with more explanations around it. You'll also see some artwork in there as well, and you're getting the general sense of the layout of the rulebook. The left-hand sheet focuses on the effects next, and on the right-hand side, improvement cards. Then we have the villains, of course, the villains themselves in terms of their components, their cards, their turn, how it all breaks down, the sea curse cards. I can tell you right now, as a huge fan of pirates, as I mentioned earlier, this excites me. As we get towards the end of the rulebook, we have a combat section here. This talks us through the combat setup sequence, the key rules for combat turns, special combat situations that can crop up, and the initiative track up there in the top right. Next is quests and campaign, reading a quest, navigating through the quest, and special terrain icons. We're at the tail end of the rulebook at this point, and by about page 22, you've got everything you need to know to get into the adventure. Once you get into the right page here on 23, there's a detailed guide to start playing. That's going to do it for the rulebook. We now move on to the quest book. And of course, this is prototype form, so it's not the final version of the quest book. But you can tell just from looking at these artwork pieces alone and knowing what Tenaris Adventures is all about and previous entries in games from Dragori Games, they have fantastic artists. And really, that does draw you into the experience. The next pages of the book takes us to Blink Island. This is going to be a setup for one of the very first encounters or scenarios within the game. And the final two pages of the quest book that came as part of the prototype and some great looking artwork on the back of this book as well. The next components out of the box are some punch boards. We got two of those as well as a smaller one on top. Let's take an up close look at each of these.
Here's a look at the remaining components inside the prototype box. Let's take an up close look at each and every one of these.
And then, my friends, Ross, out the prototype unboxing for Tenaris Expedition Central C coming from Jagori Games. Really looking forward to showing you more on the channel in the near future. Subscribe if you haven't already to be notified when more content lands for this one in the very near future. And again, GameFound campaign landing in mid-November. The exact date as well as a campaign link can be found in the pinned comment and video description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below who else is excited for this one. Thanks again, and as always, keep on rolling solo.